In the previous video, we recognized a typical vocal score written in the style of a hymnal, where we split double notes clustered to a single stem into four separate contrapuntal voices, soprano and alto in the treble clef and tenor and baritone voices in the bass clef. How the score will sound is generally controlled in SmartScore's playback console. Notice that SmartScore automatically assigned a part name, piano right and piano left, to each set of voices. This is the default. Selecting a different part name for either staff will also change the MIDI instruments. Here we will select women's voices by clicking into the part name column for the top staff. We will then select men's voices for the bottom. Notice that when changing the part name, it also changes the MIDI instrument that is sounded. This too is only a default and it can be changed. You can reassign each voice to a unique instrument because SmartScore has already separated each voice into different MIDI channels. Here we change the alto voice to a trumpet and the tenor voice, let's say oboe. In the next couple of videos, we're going to show you how to transpose keys, extract parts, and create a conductor's score from this very same piece of music.